Hi Descenders, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to introduce a new type of series that I want to be uploading on my YouTube channel and those are going to be quick five minutes, no BS, quick Descender review from my side for the Descenders that I've already been playing for the last couple of weeks. And the first one is going to be obviously Bunny because I have been playing Bunny and today I'm going to be sharing with you what I like, what I dislike about the Descender and why I do think that you should be playing this Descender named Bunny. All of her skills are important. However, depending on the, the for what kind of reason and for what kind of gameplay you are using Bunny, it will depend what kind of skills you want to use. So the very first skill is Thrill Bomb, she, that's her Q ability, her first ability, um, and this is a single target ability, right? This is for a build where you would like to use her more for a boss fight or for, you know, melting down um, an, a more difficult enemy. This is not used if you're using it for grinding materials or, you know, in general, big AoE uh, grind. Her second ability, uh, by the way, keep in mind that this is a fusion category skill so your reactors uh, that are boosting fusion you want this type of reactors uh, to boost this skill if you're building her now the second type of skill is a, a singular category skill um, and this is speed of light basically her making her run super quick and you want to use this on cooldown and the other singular category skill which is her bread and butter of her kit is her big aoe lighting emission or i call this the big conduit um that goes around you it's bouncing waves and is basically melting the mobs this is her butter bread and butter uh of her kit and then her ultimate uh which is basically a iron man type of uh, beam that you're shooting towards and you're melting and shooting a ton of damage um but this is a fusion type of skill so if we can categorize them into two type groups of skills you would mainly use speed of light and lightning emission a singular uh, type of skills and then you have fusion uh, skills that are her Q ability and her ult ability which are the single target types of skills. Now she also has a passive which deals damage to nearby enemies upon landing after a double jump. You almost never use that that much. If you do it, you do it on autopilot. You don't care about this passive that much so it's not such a great passive. So to showcase what Bunny is all about and for what I use her, I mainly use her for material grinds, for reactor grinds and mainly I use Bunny when I have to grind materials when I am playing on console because she is literally a brain dead, um, you know, type of grinder. All you have to do is run in a circle. You can pull out so much damage that it's just ridiculous. You don't have to use your weapons whatsoever. Just maintain the skill, your your number three skill or your V skill on, on keyboard, um, mouse and keyboard. And that's about it. This is why I like Bunny. I use her only for material grinders. I use other descenders for boss fights. I use other descenders for other purposes in the game. Bunny is my go-to grinder when I need to grind any type of materials and that's about it. You don't have to uh, overthink it, over, you know, calculate it. That's what she's used good for. Now, you can build her for boss fights. You can build her for certain scenarios and, and different types of gameplay in the game. But she's really, really good for this uh, right now. She's good for big AoEs, a lot of damage, running in a circle like a hamster. And that's about it. This is this is Bunny. If you want to play her differently, obviously you can. Uh, by the way, I do plan on releasing a full guide on Bunny and the different types of builds that you can have for her. So stay tuned on my channel. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video about the next Ascender. And yeah, good luck grinding.